good evening, Hammers fans. This is John from Claret and Booze. Um, I'm currently on my family vacation in Norfolk. As you can see there, beautiful sunset, sunset this evening. Um, hopefully that sunset is not a metaphor for no more players coming in at West Ham, no more transfers happening. Um, I've taken a little time off uh, from playing bingo and whatnot with the kids. Um, just to make this video, um, I felt I needed to because the whole transfer merry-go-round is once again driving people nuts, causing division amongst fans, Twitter spats and whatnot. Now, it depends how you look at it, but I personally think currently our window is six, maybe seven out of ten. OK, uh, we've brought in some good players, Agued, uh, uh Downs, you know, Ariola has been signed. Um, and now we've got problems with players that we can't get in. So what I want to talk about tonight is players and players agents and sometimes selling clubs as well. Now, we all know how it works, don't we? We all know that the player and especially the players agents hold all the cards in these situations. Now, in order to, in order to improve, which we all want to improve our squad to get better players in, um, and, and, and to replace those that we've lost or replace those that need replacing, you have to go out and get better players. The problem with that is is that unless you can unless you can get a player who nobody's heard of, you're all right. You don't get involved in the bidding war. But let's be honest, most players that we are linked with are players that other clubs know about, right? There's no getting away from that. And the problem with that is, is, is that agents know that, selling clubs know that. And both those two parties will look to create bidding wars across Europe, okay? Now, the Anana story is one. The fee with Anana's club, Lil, has been agreed. We, we agreed the deal and we offered him a weekly wage of supposedly around £40,000. Everton, as soon as they heard this, they came from the back of the field, they matched the offer um, in terms of uh, meeting Lil's um, selling demands fee, selling fee. Uh, but they kazumped us with apparently um, offering him £60,000 a week. £60,000 a week wages. So a £20,000 increase on what we've already given him, or what we've offered, sorry. Now, apparently, Anana's agent is his sister. His sister is trying to hold out, allegedly, for a weekly salary of £125,000 a week. That's right, £125,000 a week. He's 20 years of age. I'm not even sure he's worth that at a minute. Let's be honest about it, OK? Now, I do agree that if we're going to meet or we've met the fee that Lil want for him, that he probably does deserve a little bit more than forty grand a week. But who's to say West Ham won't go back and offer um, sixty grand at least or maybe more? But what's occurred is, is that the rumour or the story regarding Everton coming in for him has come out of Belgium, his homeland. You know, he's a Belgium international. So to me, this stinks of his agent, his sister, um, playing the game, playing the game. Now, we can all say that that's right, that happens, that's business, that's all ways of life. People try and hold out for the best they can get. But the problem that it causes, especially amongst West Ham United, is that fans expect us to go in and just gazump every other offer that's on the table. Um, we've seen it with Lingard and his brother and father who advised him. Are we, are we now seeing it with Anana, where he's being advised for his sister? Um, it's bad advice on my part, because at the end of the day, what happens in my eyes is that not only does the player and his representatives annoy me because they're just being pure greed, okay, you could say that, or you could say they're trying to get the better deal, but it also causes problems amongst the fan base of my club, and that's when it really riles me. You know, look, you know us at Claret and Booze, me, Nick and Gary, you know, we're all massive West Ham fans, but we all will have slightly different takes on things, and we've found ourselves uh, in recent days um, having a few little debates, heated debates with each other, which is normal. It's football. I get that. You know, we move on. But what is happening to football? You know, what, 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 what when is this ever going to end? Has it always been this just pure greed? <sighs> We've seen it with Lingard. I didn't want to mention his name, sorry. We're now possibly seeing it with Anana. And are we seeing it with Kostic as well? Um, you know, I think Kostic is a little different. He's coming from a Champions League team. Uh, we know that he'll have suitors all over Europe. 
he is technically taking a backward step in terms of possibly leaving uh, Frankfurt Champions League to come to us. Um, but, you know, he's holding out for something better, isn't he? It's really difficult for me to blame Moyes and, and, and his representatives. I... I, I sort of think to myself, I don't want us to go in and just give every player exactly what they want. I don't want us to go in and bend over backwards for agents who, who, who take extortionate commission from all of these deals, who have the best interests of their self, of their self at heart. They can tell me all they like that they're doing it for their player, but as much as their player benefits, or the, the more their player benefits, the more they the more they benefit. Okay, let's let's not get away from that. I want players who want to come and play for West Ham United. Okay, I want players who want to sign for West Ham United. Samaka, um, Skamaka. I'm going to get pulled up on his pronunciation probably by one of our friends, Garino, someone like that. He's been sold the project of West Ham United by Moyes, Newman and Co. We were over the moon with the signing of him. We were over, moon, over the moon with the signing of Aguered, another international. So we signed two internationals, Ariola, French international, Aguered, Morocco international, um, Scamacca, very recent Italian international. We've sold West Ham the club to these boys. We've given them good wages. In my mind, Scamacca and Aguered especially... They've come, West, they've come to play for West Ham for the right reasons. We know money's part of it, right? And you can't get away from that. But we're told that Skamaka could have possibly gone to PSG, that they were interested. But he stuck by his word. He, became, he, he was loyal to his word. And he's moved to West Ham for the right reasons. To me, people like Anana and JL, and possibly Kostic now, the danger is is that West Ham United become a pushover. And I, for one, don't want that. Now, we can call him Diver and Dave until the cows come home. We can say that he gets fixated with a player and becomes obsessive almost. But if a player tells you and the agent tells you that they're very much interested, what do you do? To improve your team, to improve your squad, you need to show ambition. But the ambition cannot be twisted and the ambition should not be abused or be allowed to be abused by the player and or their representatives. We have to think of the club long term. We have to get players in that believe in Moyes, believe in the project and believe in West Ham United. We don't want players coming here just for the money, do we? Do we genuinely want that? Do we want players to come and play because they know the passion that the fans give? Because they know that the club is on the up. And because they believe in West Ham United, the project and everything going forward over the next few years. We have to show ambition, boys. We have to do what we're doing in the transfer market. We have to try and buy these players. But we can't allow these players and their agents to basically try and manipulate the situation to the extent where we're not happy with the wages we're giving them. Look, we tried that in the past. Yarmolenko, you know, the fairy tale ending that he had. Some important goals in Europe on top of the Ukrainian war. But let's be honest, apart from the Chelsea goal that saved us almost from relegation, a lot of people questioned the salary that he was on. 125 grand. And until recently, he didn't look like he really wanted to play for West Ham. I, for one, am happy with the window we've had so far. Of course, we need more players in. We do need the left back. Aaron Cresswell, I love him to bits. And Aaron Cresswell still has an important part to play in the squad and the team this season. But I do believe that we need to get a left back or left wing back in. We do believe that Cornet has, uh, is on his way to London sometime today or maybe tomorrow to discuss personal terms. We have met Burnley's 17.5 million pounds valuation um, but we are also aware that Newcastle have come in uh, again coming from the back of the field they will probably gazump our wages offer but my message to someone like Max Corner is don't be wafer thin come to a club that's got longevity for the club and just for yourself as well you go to Newcastle chasing the money but in 18 months time they'll be chasing a different type of player 
with the millions and millions and millions they've got from their Saudi owners. So think of the bigger picture. Don't chase the money. Come and have a look at West Ham United. Uh, we're a great club. Now, I know he's not going to excite a lot of people, but somebody like him uh, will add will add to the squad. He's versatile. And let's just hope that we can get a couple more signings in till the uh, at, b- before the end of the window. Um, we do have... You know, we do have just over three weeks left, so let's not panic. We know we've got Man City on Sunday. Who knows what will happen in that game. Um, on paper, they should hammer us, but you never know. This is West Ham. This is a team of fighters. Um, I just wish that we did have a couple more players in and playing uh, for the City game. Obviously, because of Aguero's injury, he won't be there. Schumacher may be on the bench. Not sure if he'll play a part. He might get 10 minutes. But... Yes, we know. We haven't got many different faces uh, from what we ended at the start of the season on Sunday, more than likely. But I'll be there Sunday. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a like, um, share it. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to our show, then please do so. Um, we are going to be keeping our Sunday shows regular as clockwork throughout the season, mostly because of the Sunday games that we're going to have uh, because we're in the Conference League. It would enable us to talk everything West Ham and also review the game from that day.